uh, Mav, we're on. Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, so, so, baby lamb and cow. <laughs> so, baby lamb and cow set off on their expedition to be the, the temporary Santa for Christmas. Will they be able to pull it off? Well, let's find out, shall we? Come on, Nunu, let's fly! Hi, right, Cal. What's the next house we have to go to? Oh, let's see. 742 Evergreen Terrace. Okay. Hey, that's where the Simpsons live. I can't believe I'm actually going to meet one of my favorite cartoon stars. Baby Lamb, we can't. Santa says we're only supposed to come when people are asleep. That's a Christmas tradition. Alright, sorry, I forgot. Now, oh, come on. <laughs> well, we barely managed to m land quietly. How could they not hear it? Alright, now who's gonna be going down the chimney? Nah, 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 nah. I'm too, uh, tired to go down the chimney. Are you trying to say you're too fat? Why, yes! Fine. Just stay here while I get the presents. Hmm, man, that's a long chimney. Maybe it's not a long drop. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the home, not a creature was stirring, except for me and this poem. My sisters were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of candy bars danced in their heads. Then I sprang like a spring, and snuck like a sneak, down the stairs to the gifts for just a quick peek. When lo and behold, what did I see? Uh, let's get that part into layer. Oh, oh. Ah, man. Now I know how Santa Claus must feel. I bet he must be having the time of his life right now. Santa? I thought you were supposed to be, uh... I thought your leg was supposed to be broken. You never say this to anyone, and I'll put you on my nice list permanently. Hey, baby lamb. Huh? Cow? What are you doing here? Well, the front door is open. Cow. Wait, the front door is open? If I knew that, I wouldn't be going down the chimney. And what are you eating? I'm, uh, I'm eating some cookies. Oh, really? Where is it? Oh, well, I was here about uh, five minutes ago when uh, I kind of ate it all. And the milk too? Yup. <sighs> okay. Come on, let's put the gifts on the, the tr Where's the sack of gifts? I think they're still in the sleigh. Oh gosh, darn it. We forgot the gifts. They're still back in the RV. Sleigh. Now we're gonna do- Hold! What the- <sighs> Who goes here? Now you're probably gonna say to yourselves, Simon, that is literally the worst Bart Simpson impression I have ever heard in my entire life. And I wouldn't blame you for saying that. But keep in mind, I was a kid when this was recorded. This was from 2015. And even if I tried to do it, it wouldn't even sound good. So, uh, if you're just gonna have to live with it. Alright, on with the rest of the story. Why we are Santa Claus. This. Yeah, right. And I'm a little leprechaun looking for his pile of gold. Wow, what a coincidence. Pleased to meet you. Ah! The last person who came into our house during the holidays say it was the Easter Bunny, and he stole our couch. Don't worry, Bart. We're just here to give you some Christmas presents and then be on our merry way. My mom says that I'll never get any presents this year because I've been on Santa's nihilist. But I know better than to believe in Santa Claus. Uh-oh. I wonder if they did something like this before. That's what people get for copyright infringement. When lo and behold, what did I see? Lisa and Maggie had just beaten me. I poked at my package and said, This is rad, man. Then noticed Dad's shadow. He looked like a madman. Oh, Maggie, oh, Lisa, oh, little Bartholomew, go upstairs, go right now before I kill all of you. And so into bed, we fled in a flash, waiting till morning to open our stash. I hope I never have to do this job again. Dear Santa, come on, Cal, let's go. Santa Claus, we're back. What the heck? Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Wow! Santa, I can't believe this. I can't believe this at all. Yeah, I can't believe you would throw a dance party and not invite. No, I'm saying that I can't believe you were actually able to dance and you said you had a broken leg. Yeah, I managed to heal my leg a long time ago. But why, Santa? Why? Why? Why did you go and lie to us? Why? Well, Miss Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> well, you see, I've been very weary. Apparently, it's been hard for me and the elves trying to make every single brand name toy without getting my butt sued off. And, well, my back has really been, really been aching, going down all those chimneys and stuff like that. Apparently, I feel like I'm getting too old for this. I wanted to open the Santa Collier, but that was too expensive, and I need all the money to pay for the manufacturing company. But you didn't have to make me and Cal go through all that pain. I mean, honestly, this one kid, he hit us with a crowbar and sent us flying across the moon like, a, like that E.T. movie. Santa Claus, you taught us that lying counts as naughty, and yet you're being naughty right now. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I just... I'm getting tired. Everyone keeps expecting presents and presents. It's times like this that make me feel like Christmas would be a whole lot better if to, if there was if there was no presents. Everyone would be much happier, there'd be no riots, no holiday massacres and stuff like that. Well, yeah, but think of all the little boys and girls that are going to be happy. The little boys and girls. I never, I, I never stop thinking about them. I mean, I always think about them. Just that I don't feel really happy with the fact that people are whining over price. So, you faked being hurt? Yeah, it's kind of stupid. Yes, Santa, I guess it still is a little stupid. Well, I guess not really, but come on, Santa. You be doing a lot of things. You're what inspired little kids and little kids to, you know, do nice things for a bunch of other people. See, because it's Christmas Eve, the time where everyone in the world is filled with peace and goodwill. And we should all cherish that moment. Santa, you should never give up. You need to get your butt in action and get your reindeer and your sleigh and your sack of presents and fly around the world so that way everyone can be pleased with their presents. I can't. You guys already did it for me. Oh. But you gotta do it next year. Oh, yeah. I mean... The parents always say that Santa Claus exists in the eyes of boys and girls who believe in the true meaning of Christmas, not about presents and Halloween lights all aglow, but the people that love you and the care that they show. I guess maybe I do have a difference to make, a perfect Christmas tradition, and there's no way I'm going to ruin it. Baby Lamb, I just want to say, I want to thank you for being a very good boy this year. You've helped me re you helped me reconsider the error of my ways. And for that, I'll put you on my permanent nice list forever. Okay, how many people are gonna put on your permanent nice list? Uh I don't know. But my reindeer, they already left. I'm pretty sure by now to be the North Pole right now. Don't worry, Santa. We'll take you back to the North Pole in our RV. And we'll don't worry, we'll never stop. Thank you, Baby Lamb. Well, you wanna say, ho, ho, ho. And I bet you're gonna say, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Uh, actually, I was gonna say, uh, peace out. But, uh, I guess that kinda works. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Come on, you new. So Baby Lamb and Cow help Santa Claus deliver all the presents to the rest of the world for all the good little boys and girls who were on Santa's nice list. And for those who were naughty, well, 
When they woke up on Christmas morning, they found their stockings filled to the brim with Jack Squat. But other than that, everyone had a great Christmas, and for Baby Lamb and Cow, it was one to remember. So, from all of us here, we hope that you have a very Merry Christmas. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go fall asleep in the bathroom in a van down by the river.